Welcome. Uh, this is your host, Dr. Lucas Shalua, with the Global Empowerment. Today we will be talking about ideas. Where do we get ideas and um, how can we tell if this idea is a great idea, it's a good idea. So I want to invite you to go through a journey with me of talking about ideas. Now let's start by asking ourselves why is it important to have a good idea? On a creative thinking session we talked about everything that surrounds us was once an idea, either products that we see around us or services that we see around us. All these or services that we experience, all these were once ideas. And there's a need of us capturing good ideas and doing something about these, uh, these good ideas because we are naturally born to think about 42 ideas or thoughts in one minute. And we say that in a day we can have up to 60 thousand thoughts running through our minds and basically these are ideas they can be good ideas or they can be bad ideas depending on what have we decided to do with them bad ideas we just let them go fly by but good ideas we have to have an art of capturing those ideas and we suggested that it's a good idea to have a journal everywhere you go, everywhere you are. Smartphones these days have a good application where you could journal your ideas. You can use your notebook in your smartphone and capture your idea. I have my notebook even when I'm driving. Whenever I get an idea and I'm flowing into that idea, I will just park my car, take a pen and a paper and write down those ideas because those are ideas that if I follow them up, I can do something big or I can create something from these ideas. These are creative ideas. Now, the first question we ask ourselves is, where do I get these ideas? Everybody talks about ideas. This person has a good idea. They did this and we can see they're successful. Or the friend of mine had this idea. They pursued this idea and they became successful. Or we can see the result. Now, where do I get these ideas. Now, let me attempt to answer that question for you. Good ideas or ideas can be found everywhere and anywhere. You just need to be very sensitive to your environment because friends can give you ideas. Family members can give you ideas. When you're listening to the radio, you can get an idea. Or when you're watching a movie, or you're watching a TV, you can get an idea. You are at work and you're talking with your colleagues, you can get an idea. Or people can be talking, it is somebody else's conversation, but you happen to be there and you're hearing them talking about something and your ears get itchy about that. Go write it down because ideas are everywhere surrounding us. What we need to do is to identify them, discover them, write them down. And then comes question number two. How do I know that this is a good idea? And I'm emphasizing just a good. It doesn't have to be the best idea. Most of the things which we are seeing around, they're not coming really from the best idea. What you need is just a good idea. 
what you need is just a good idea. Most things came into existence because they were a good idea, not the best or the most brilliant idea. Probably some were, but the majority of the services we are experiencing or the products that we have just came from an okay idea and that's what you need. Now, you ask yourself two major questions in order to know if this idea is a good idea. Number one question we ask ourselves, what is the problem this idea is going to solve? What is that pain that people have and I need to scratch where it is itching? Every good idea solves a problem in mankind. That is a great question to ask yourself. Is there a problem that people are experiencing and my idea is going to solve their problem? Society for many years honored people who solved their problems. In the world of science and medicine, people who discovered medicine, they were solving mankind's problems. Though some of the medicines we all know, they were discovered accidentally, but they used that discovery to solve a problem, like a great medicine we know, the penicillin, this is an antibiotic. It was discovered accidentally, but it was used to solve a lot of infectious problems that mankind had in terms of diseases. Now, that's a grand question to ask yourself once you have an idea. Slow down. Again, take a piece of paper and ask yourself, what is the problem that people are experiencing and I need to solve this problem with this idea? This idea, which problems or problem is it going to solve? Another way round is to listen to what people are experiencing and complaining about. If people are complaining bitterly about something, probably that is a way they are calling for ideas to solve their problem. So another way is if you want to get good ideas, go around, listen to people's problems. What do people complain in this organization? What are my family members complaining about? What are the students complaining about? What are the employers or employees or people who are traveling or people who are in business? What are they complaining about? And once you collect a set of problems that they have, you can start from there to come up with the solution. That is another grand way of coming up with good ideas if you are not naturally flowing with ideas. Now, a second question which you can ask yourself, we call that a convenience question. A convenient question is a question that you ask yourself by saying, what has already been done and what can I do better? So in other words, you're looking at what is already there, what other people have already done, and you want to make it a little better. They say 10%. It's okay. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to come up with another light bulb. It has already been discovered. But you just want to add an innovation of about 10%. And that is a convenient question we are asking. Life is all about making it better. 
people are not satisfied where they are. So look at them and then ask yourself, can I make it a little better? If you can make it a little better, then you've got an idea right there. What can it be done a little different? If you can get that edge of making things a little bit better, a little bit different, giving people a better experience from what they already have, that's another good way of coming up with a good idea. Now, when we're talking about ideas, we have to think about the resources and the assets that we have. There are three assets that you have in your arsenal. Number one asset is the set of skills and gifts and talents and profession or the training that you have. If you know nothing about rocket science and you want to, uh, to discover and you want to better the way we, sh we, we take shuttles, the shuttles take a satellite uh, to the orbit, that is out of your league. But always look at what is your area of proficiency. What are your skills? What is your talent? What is your professional? Because those, gives you, those things give you an edge on the area that you want to develop your idea. So look at, number one, what do you already have in terms of your cognitive uh, knowledge and understanding and skill and profession or training. The number two asset which you have is all your connections, all your network, the people you know. Many times it is your friends, it is your boss, it is your employer, it is your colleagues you went to school with. Those are the people who can be very resourceful in your idea to change that idea, to refine that idea, to make that idea refined and well to be ready to be put in a marketplace. It takes a process to take an idea until when it becomes a service or an idea until when it becomes a product. It takes a process. It's not a quick event. You need all these resources. And resource number three, which you really need in your life, is ask yourself, what is my experience? What thing that I have gone through will be of benefit in pursuing this idea. As we have said, your skills, your profession, your line of training, look in yourself, look within yourself. What are the experiences which you have gone through that they have prepared you to handle the challenges that idea is going to bring? Because ideas, come with challenges because you are doing something which is very innovative or very creative. You are a pioneer. Now you have to look at yourself and say what experiences I can piggy bank on to help me take this idea from point one up to where I can present it to the society and either I can earn a living or I can make a fortune or I can help mankind to better their life. I hope you have enjoyed um, this session and uh, in another session we are going to talk about how are you going to develop your idea from inception all the way up till when we have a service or we have a product. Now today we were just talking about where do we get the ideas and how can we know that these ideas are good ideas. In another session we will talk about the actual development of these ideas to make them projects and products and things that we can present them uh, to the marketplace. Thank you very much for listening. Again, this is your host, Dr. Lucas 
Shalua.